So we uh, started now with uh, three weeks, which we know that the three weeks, this three weeks started off with Shabbos. So we know that on, when your three weeks starts off on Shabbos, We start, we start off the three weeks with Simcha. As we know that on Shabbos there cannot be anything of mourning. You cannot have any sadness on Shabbos. It has to be always with Simcha. We see that in this week's Parsha, Parsha's Pinchas, is a phenomenal thing. How did Pinchas acquire Kahuna? How did he become a Kayin? No one can become a Kayin. You are born a Kayin. You cannot acquire it through your service. You cannot acquire it through your actions, your thought, your speech. Look at Kairach. Kairach wanted to be a Kain Gadol. Can he become a Kain Gadol? No. Maybe the coming of Mashiach, when all Levim will become Kehanim, will be a Kain. So what happened over here that Pinchas became a Kain through his actions? By killing the head of the tribe of Shimrai and Zimrai, Zimri ben Salo, Kazbi Basur. How did he get this Sukuna if he was never a Kayin before? Just like he cannot transform. Night to day or day to night. And God made separation. So too he separated Kuhuna for Aaron and his children. So the answer is as follows. All the ones that were anointed... In the time of Aaron Hakoyen, and all the ones that were alive were anointed, then it's it's an automatic thing that all Kohanim are Kohanim with uh, by nature. But he was born before they were anointed, and he was not anointed. Hashem wanted that it should come through his actions of Mesidus Nefesh. What is the idea of Mesidus Nefesh? And what is the idea of Tshuva which brings Mashiach? Tshuva reaches the Yechida of Nefesh. We want the Yechida Sheben Nefesh to permeate the whole existence. All his levels of Niranach, Nefesh Ruach Neshama, Chaya. We want the Yechida to come into your Pneumius. In every aspect of your life. That's what it says when. God forbid someone does a sin, 
he does tshuva and says Chamishi saw Yosef for love. He gives a fifth. And what is the fifth? The fifth is the Yechidah Shevenefesh. Because if you cannot, you cannot bring a carbon without knowing the purpose of you bring a carbon. It has to permeate all your inner peiches. And that's the idea of tshuva. Tshuva brings redemption. What does it say when Mashiach comes? The highest levels will be revealed in the fullest extent. Nowadays it is concealed. We do teda and mitzvahs and everything else. But godliness is concealed. When Mashiach comes, it will be revealed. So what is the... Aveda, like it says, that the revelations of Mashiach and the highest revelations of Mashiach. will come through our Aveda in the time of Galus. And that's our Aveda. That's why it says the Mashiach comes. There will be two stones, Shoyam and Yashvei. Shoyam represents a level from above, a shine from above. That is a regular light. That is when we get from God alone. Yashre is a bursting f- fire or bursting light. And that comes from our Aveda. And the Machlaikis in the Gemara is, the argument in the Gemara is, whether when Mashiach comes, the, the stones will be like Yashre or the stones will be like Shreya. So Gemara comes out and says, Lady Kedain and Kedain will be like both. Because God wants our Aveda. And Aveda of Mesirus Nefesh. So it's not enough the Mesirus Nefesh which we have when we lay in Kriyashma. Like it says, before they went into Eretz Yisrael, they were told to, to lay in Kriyashma. With Mesirus Nefesh. What kind of mysterious nefesh is when they're going to Nerit Yisrael? The fear of all. The fear of the Jews will be on all nations. Because they demand the idea of mysterious nefesh anyway. So there's two mysterious nefesh. In. One mysterious nefesh is you go into a... You you come up to the idea of mysterious nefesh. You look in the shulchan aruch, see if you have to see if you have to go mysterious nefesh. We see on the free kerebe. He was not mechuyiv apidin to go on mysterious nefesh. That is the revelation of yichida to permeate our existence, and that's why tshuva rep- uh, uh, heals. And uh, forgives us. Because that's the level of Yechida. You draw down the Yechida. And that is our Aveda. And that was Pinchas. He needed his Aveda of Mesirus Nefesh. And I'm um, the Milo. And that's how he got Kuhuna. That means it was there beforehand. He got it just now. It's now through his Aveda of an Aveda of Messias Nefesh, not Aveda of Apitam Vadas. Messias Nefesh, not Apitam Vadas. And our Aveda is not to leave our bodies. To give up our life for God. Our Veda is to draw down the Yechida in every aspect of our lives. 
And that's how we greet from uh, greet, greet Mashiach by permeating our whole existence with godliness. And will come the time when godliness will be revealed. And we see that also that the third base of Mikdash will be everlasting. And the first two were not everlasting. And that's why Pinchas, we, the whole parish is called with the name Pinchas. Because Pinchas is Eliyahu. Pinchas is Eliyahu. And if nothing mixed in, they would have had a gula, a mitis, a shleim, a complete gula by. By when they went to Eretz Yisrael. And there were some details also. And details was just like the gula asida. And that's why this parish is called Parshas Pinchas. And we should know that even if we don't do tshuva, even if we do an Averach Manaslan, we can always do tshuva, tshuva ma'ava, and through our Aveda we bring forth the everlasting Beis Hamikdash because it has both Milas, Melamaila and Lamata. So Bez Hashem will not be satisfied with the Ayyuchidah to stay above. You know that, uh, okay, when I say Glen Krishma, I'll be, I'll permeate my whole existence with the Yechida. But the whole day should be in the Ifn of Mesidus Nefesh. Just like when they went to Eretz the first time, they had to have Mesidus Nefesh on their mind. Because that is the permeating our whole existence with the Yechida. May we have the revelation of Yechida Aklolis, Mashiach Tzidkenu, take it from Yad Mamash now. Long live our master, teacher, and Rebbe King Mashiach forever and ever. Long live our master, teacher, and Rebbe King Mashiach forever and ever. Long live our master, teacher, and Rebbe King Mashiach forever and ever.